The long-awaited first episode of the second season of The Mandalorian is finally here, and you're not going to be disappointed. We have all the details, initial reactions, and minor spoilers. It's what we've all been patiently waiting for. Roll the intro. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to our review of The Mandalorian, Chapter 9, The Marshal. Before we begin, do us a favor, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. This, this is, is the way. way. This season of The Mandalorian picks up where last season left off, with Mando searching for other Mandalorians to aid him in the search for any remaining Jedi to reunite the child with his own kind. This leads him to Gore Koresh, who may have info as to where other Mandalorians may be. Mando learns that there may be a Mandalorian residing at an old mining colony on Tatooine. Here he finds that the potential Mandalorian is the town marshal, Cobb Vanth, who has acquired the legendary Boba Fett's armor through a deal with the scavenger Jawas. When Vanth removes the Mandalorian helmet, Mando quickly realizes that he is no Mandalorian and brokers a deal to acquire the sacred armor from Vanth by helping him to kill a great dragon that has terrorized the outpost. On their way to find the mythical creature, they encounter a tribe of sand people who also want the Kree dragon dead, and they form an unlikely alliance to bring it down. The climax of the episode brings us the showdown between the Kree and Mando, along with his ragtag team in which they defeat the seemingly invulnerable creature. In the end, the village is free from danger, the sand people get their feast along with a Kree pearl, and Mando acquires Fett's armor. The episode ends with a glorious shot of Tatooine's twin sons, and a look at an unmasked and very much alive Boba Fett. This leaves us with the question of whether Boba Fett is looking to reacquire his infamous armor, or even looking to collect on the bounty for the child and re-establish himself as the galaxy's most feared bounty hunter. This first installment of the second season delivered what may be the best chapter of the series giving both newer and longtime fans something they can sink their teeth into. This episode delivered on the much-rumored appearance of Boba Fett, numerous easter eggs from the Star Wars history, as well as our first look at the mythical Crate Dragon. Other great aspects of the show displayed further character development of Mando and gave us different perspective of the Sand People, who had only previously been characterized as brutal savages. The episode, written and directed by John Farrow, was a fantastic start to the second season and will be leaving fans clamoring for more next Friday. This wraps up our review and reaction of The Mandalorian Chapter 9. Feel free to drop any comments or questions in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch. And remember, embrace your inner nerd and let your dreams guide you.